Hello. How are you doing? How are you? How are you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to degenerate quickly. It's me doing my, my David Letterman. Yeah. <laughs> what are your first and fondest memories of us meeting and getting to know each other on the road? <laughs> I remember you singing Lady Marmalade in the hallway well, nearly yes. every single day. We always knew when you were coming. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you telling my little brother to go f himself well, nearly yes, every day. Yes, There's always yeah. that. That's, seen, That's been going on for many years. It's been going on. I mean, I remember back when we were working together mm -hmm. before the first album came out. Oh yeah, you showed up with with uh, like the trough of coffees. Oh, of course. And yeah. I was thinking, I'm like, oh god, what a nice guy. He brought us all coffee. No, they were all for you. <laughs> it's, oh okay, this is the kind of thing we're getting ourselves I'm into. Such a awesome. I know how ruthless female fans can get to meet and greet their favorite band members. How do you handle the ones that hit on you? I have a grand appreciation for females and the, yes. the female body. Yeah, the boobs are great. Boobs are always awesome. Boobs are pretty Always stout. welcome. Yeah. I hold the record in our band as signing the most boobs. <laughs> to do this happened the last tour. This girl, it's in this little package, and it's in it is a tampon. And with the note saying, will you use this and then tell me when you do, like tweet me or oh, Facebook me or something. <laughs> so that I know that what I gave you was in inside of you at some point. I'm like, you guys are crazy. Sometimes they're nuts, so. <laughs> That's probably one of the yeah. top 10 best stories I've ever heard in my life. Oh, oh man, oh, God it's a tampon. Sakes. I mean, at least it, w it was still in the wrapping. It would be weird if like, I used this. That'd be weird. You know, the story is now part of our legend. We're gonna cross streams. Yeah. <laughs> Roll with it. <laughs> like the parole officer? Yeah, that's awesome. Keep you guys on your uh, best behavior. <clears throat> All right, now the tables have turned, Corey. Mm, yes, you are now yes. in the hot seat. <laughs> and, and I mean that because my ass was in it. I was going to say, yeah, thank you for <laughs> pulling that Just up. clarifying. You've been going hard with Slipknot for a really long time. What is the most ridiculous tour oh injury that you've gotten over the years? Which, I mean, there's got to be which a couple one? <laughs> I have scars on my retinas from the dreads that used to be in my, my old masks. Yeah, oh my God, yeah. or just hit me in the eye? I'd That's just be crazy. freaking out, headbanging, and they'd swing around and they, oh. they, they scratched my cornea so bad that they got infected. Oh, and so I had to do shows with a giant padded eye patch underneath the mask. <laughs> it sucked. Other than that, I've got burns on my legs from being set on fire. Yeah. Typical day. It's part of the price <laughs> of being a Slipknot, you know, you, you just get set on fire when you're really in the middle of singing something and you're like, ah, what the hell, ah. It's, <laughs> luckily, I haven't had anything too brutal yet, but, you know, well, you know. career's still <laughs> young. <laughs> you're, you're but a mere pup. Yay! <laughs> We've known each other a long time. Is there anything that you see in my band that you would want to hear from an outside perspective. You know, and here's the thing, and this is me being brutally honest, I think your recorded albums do not capture just how awesome you are live. And people don't even realize it. And I think the thing that I would like love to hear is you with like an old school Mutt Lang type producer who captures the vibe and you know and you get it and you feel like you're in the room with it there's there's something about the way you guys are alive that maybe one in a thousand bands have there's something that's so visceral and real that with the right producer the right recording it would be probably one of the best rock and roll albums to come out in like 10 years 15 years 20. yeah i'm on the same page i would love to have that happen too <laughs> yeah, right <laughs> Thank you for stepping into my office for the last Well, you know, thanks for seeing me on such short notice. Right, uh, yeah. You know, you're squeezing me in here. You know. You did it. Yeah. Yeah.